Hey, this is a man I have worked with never uh, on the screen, or I should say the big screen, but on the little screen for television, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeremy Sleeks. <laughs> Delighted, Jeremy. Let me sneak over here a bit here. I feel like I'm kind of in left field. You have worked television and motion pictures. Your current project is one involving a very good friend of mine, a fellow named Frankie Avalon. Now, yeah. now, Frankie usually gets the girl in a picture, but you give him trouble in I'll Take Sweden. Are you the villain? Why, well, you know, anybody hates to call himself a villain, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't wind up with a girl. Frankie does, uh, although I try to get her. He, ke he keeps his record unbroken. This happens to be, by the way, a Bob Hope picture. Who's the girl in question? Tuesday Weld. And Thank you're you. fighting for her love, eh? Yeah. What, what sort of a part do you play? Uh, well, Bob Hope at one point during the picture describes me as a Scandinavian Svengali, which... Uh, what are you, Norwegian? Oh, well, you yeah, must be Swedish. Swedish, yeah. I, I have a Swedish accent all the way through the picture, as well as Dina Merrill. And, uh... Let me, let me stop you there for a second. Yeah. I had to do a part once that called for a, a southern accent. Or what it, was, it was very distracting. Did you have an, do you have any trouble acquiring an accent for a part? Well, not particularly. As a matter of fact, it's a lot of fun, Dick, to, to try to do it, you know. But uh, I can understand yours with a southern accent because you speak English, you see. Uh, when you get into a foreign language, no, that's true. When you get into a foreign language, uh, it becomes so foreign that when you pick up on the accent, it's a lot easier to use it. How do you go about practicing? Do you go in a room by yourself or do you uh, go find yourself someone from Sweden? That's what I do. Find someone from Sweden and, and listen to him talk and find out how he pronounces different letters in, uh, as, as opposed to how we pronounce them. And instead of using the caricature of the language, like, you know, my, my name is Yanni Janssen and I come from Minnesota, that yeah. kind of thing, cut that out and do it the way they, they, they do it, you know, which well, is a little different. This is a comedy role. Yeah. yeah. Now, that's completed. When is it released? Uh, it'll be out next week. All right. What's the next project? Well, uh, I, I just came up from three months in Mexico uh, working on a picture called The Sons of Katie Elder, a western. Uh, what kind of a, it's a western, and you yeah. play the part of a, another uh, comedian? No, <laughs> I, I don't smile once in this. Uh, it's a, I'm a deputy sheriff chasing John Wayne and Dean Martin, and I don't get much of a chance to smile when I'm chasing John Wayne and Dean Martin. You know? This is interesting. I can see now where you lead a, uh, have a variety of things to do. In your career, has there ever been anything that you'd like to do that nobody lets you do? Yes, Dick. Uh, Apropos of your show, uh, I've, w I've done two movies with Elvis Presley, and this last one with Frankie Avalon, and these guys get up and sing, and uh, I'm usually the light heavy or something like yeah. this, you know, and I have to stay back at, uh, in the wings while everybody else gets out there and just dances their heads off, you know, and I have to stand back there and listen to them, and I haven't got a chance to get out and dance to these great guys. I'm reaching back here. I noticed an album called I'll Take Sweden, but I don't see your name. Do you perform on this at all? No, I don't. Uh, it's been an aspiration of mine. I've always wanted to. Uh, I, I sang in a square dance band for two <laughs> years once. Give, but, me a, uh, give me one selection that I like, and I'll, I'll take it home and give a listen. Well, uh, one selection is The Bells Keep Ringing that I like. It's, it's an instrumental, and I think Frankie also sings it later in the, in the album. I will hope that you get your chance one of these days to do a little singing. In the meantime, all good luck and thank you. Thank you very much. Dave. Jeremy Slate, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to have you, Jeremy.